Hi everyone, Bernard here on behalf of MovieGameNostalgia.com we're up you all very very well and today we're doing a little movie review so uh, please if you're new to this little channel uh, push that all subscribe button, push the bell notifications and please thumbs ups are always nice as well as views yeah we're going to do a little movie review on something called The Parts You Lose it's uh, a 12 certificate, an hour and 33 minutes um, it's class as a crime drama thriller. Um, it's two of those words you could probably get rid of. Um, it's more more a drama than perhaps than a crime. There is a crime crime involved, obviously, and uh, it should obviously it sort of hints at a thriller element. But uh, it's just more a drama this one. So be careful when you're watching this one. But we'll talk about that anyway. It stars Aaron Paul, Dan, Danny Murphy. Uh, Aaron Paul stars as a fugitive criminal and uh, Danny, Mur Danny Murphy stars as a young deaf boy who sort of befriend one another, fall, fall, in, fall in each other's path uh, and befriend one another. Mary Elizabeth Winstead and Scoot McNary also star as um, Danny Murphy's parents, the, obviously the, the deaf boy's parents in the, in the film. It's directed by Christopher Campwell, based on a screen by... Screenplay by Dana Lemke. Filming took place in Winnipeg, Canada. So yes, it was very, very cold, very snowy. Um, not the greatest views and cinematography, but uh, yeah, it was uh, nice to see a little bit of Winnipeg anyway. Uh, yeah, what's it about? Well, a deaf, I've told you a little bit about it already, haven't I? A deaf 10-year-old boy, Wesley, lives on a small farm in North Dakota and commutes to a school for the deaf. He is bullied at the school that's at home, he has a good relationship with his mother, though not his father. One day, he comes across an injured man who he helps recover, and they become friends. The man teaches the boy how to stand up to school bullies and his father. The police come looking for the man, and Wesley struggles with being loyal to his new friends. So, yeah, it's a sort of... Uh, uh, do you remember Whistle Down the Wind many, many moons ago? I mean, obviously, they found a, a man in the... He doesn't think he's Jesus Christ, but the sort of... Obviously, it's, it's a barn involved. Uh, is it any good? Well, this is the thing, isn't it? I mean, the critics do like it, I'll tell you now, but uh, Joe Public, not so much. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes, he's got a 67% positivity rating, which is uh, 12 fresh reviews and 6 rotten reviews. The Rotten Tomatoes audience isn't as enamoured as some of the critics, 54% uh, based on 50 scores left by the audience. The meta score, the Metacritic rating, only 47% positive with uh, two positive reviews, two mixed reviews and two negative reviews. So it scores anywhere between 30% and 88%, so quite a wide gulf really. Uh, there's a couple of 30%. Uh, one's from Frank Sheck of The Hollywood Reporter. He says, The parts you lose somehow manages to be both unmoving and tension-free, wasting the talents of several notable actors in the process. Yep, I'm not going to disagree with that. Austin Chronicle also give it 30%. The parts you lose captures the winter isolation of North Dakota well, it does, and the actors involved ensure that it's never unwatchable. Nope. Yet this is the worst kind of bad movie, a film with absolutely no nothing to say. Well, I won't go that far. I mean, obviously, there is a little, uh, there is a drama in there, and obviously, you have a young boy and coping with life, you know, coping with his, you know, the, his disabilities, etc. Uh, someone also commented, it's a premise in search for plot. Yeah, yeah, a bit cruel, but I can understand that. But there is positivity, RogerEbert.com. Uh, they give it 88%, so they, they did like it. And went on to say, most of the movie is conveyed through point of view, which is especially fitting because the central character is hearing impaired. Wesley is a careful, thoughtful observer of the world around him, and this movie challenges to look as closely as he does. Every frame is filled with significant, illuminating details. Uh, and someone else went on to say, for such a bleak and harsh tale, the parts you lose find some rays of light at the end of the night. So, so poet there as well and they didn't know it internet movie database joe public you and me as i said it's they're not overly it's 5.6 out of 10 so just below my watchable rating although you're not going to put anyone off here at 5.6 it's always a possibility you might like it that's based on 1542 people have left either a score or a review uh, some of the comments awesome reminds me of a perfect world yeah remember that with kevin costner yeah so uh, yeah, I can see where he's coming from. So if you, you cross a perfect world with uh, whistle down the wind, you're perhaps getting on the on the right track. Uh, wanted to like this so bad, but I just didn't. 
extremely slow paced drama again I, I can I can echo that sentiment uh, someone else but wonderful if you feel like a movie that deals with human beings and not cyborgs or hyped brain noise this is worth the watch obviously having a bit of a dig there at a sort of sci-fi action films uh, and someone else wrote lacking very slow moving film no suspense no drama plain old boring in my opinion so as you can see uh, like with most films isn't it it's, it's, a, it's a wide range of, uh, of views uh, from various users uh, critic wise and, and the public so, what is it? My movie game nostalgia, my little critique of it. Yeah, as I said, the crime drama thriller. I mean, you can forget the thriller. There isn't much in the way of thrills. Uh, there was a crime committee, but you don't get to see much. Well, the odd, the odd thing in this, obviously. But, uh, yeah, it is a drama. It's, it's a character drama, really. Uh, and it is a slow burn, and that's to say the least. It's not. It's just perhaps the slowest of slow burners. So, if you do like some a bit more action and a bit more twisty turny with your uh, films, then play, I would advise you to stay clear. Um, considering the role he plays, he's playing Danny Murphy helps carry the film really well because obviously he's 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 deaf. He doesn't actually. I uh, can't not give too much away, he doesn't have many lines in this film uh, and he does actually carry it quite well even though obviously it's it's just looking from his perspective etc but uh, even though he doesn't have many lines as such um, he's very investable, very likeable, you want to stick up for the young man you know I mean obviously he's, as it says in the uh, synopsis he is getting bullied at school so you want things to turn out right for him and even that's a bit of a bit of a damp squib even that's a bit of a let down to be honest with the, with the way he deals with the, the bullying side of it as well uh, the adults are okay I mean Aaron Paul's okay as the grumpy grumpy fugitive uh, he does an okay job but it's obviously the young Murphy who's the, who's the cog on which the film stands or falls and a lot of people's opinion it sort of falls but not not through any fault of his I don't think as I said I can understand negativity and the similarities to something like a perfect world but a perfect world is really a lot lot better than this there's a lot more going on in a perfect world it's not all set in one in one or two places for one thing which which does help the film um, and even even as it builds to a climax you know you're going to get a climax in this film it, again the climax is just so unexciting and uh, it's one of those films that you'll, you'll sort of soon forget and you know you may you may remember Aaron Paul, you may remember the young lad in it, but uh, it's, it is a film, easily forgettable. I mean, as a study of a 10-year-old deaf boy from a obviously working-class uh, background, uh, blue collar, is it, in the U, they call it, in the US, uh, it's not a bad watch. As a thriller and entertainment, it's pretty weak, to be honest with that. I thought it was okay, um, but I do, I'm looking at it from a point of view of yourself, yourselves as well, and as I say, you, if you if you're not prepared to watch a slow burning drama about a ten year old deaf boy, then uh, please give give this a wide berth. So I'm going to reflect that in my rating. Is I'm going to give it one of those ratings where I'm not going to put you off watching it because if you want to watch a nice little drama that has has okay elements, but again does does lack tension, does lack tension, does lack any sort of excitement whatsoever. Even in the bits you think there might be a bit of excitement, there isn't. So I'm going to give it my little five point five out of ten, which is I'm not totally going to. Put you off. I wasn't. It wasn't. I've not watched it and thought, oh god, an hour and a half of my life wasted. But again, I've not watched it and thought, wow, that's fantastic, you know. So uh, yeah, I'm going to give it an MGM movie game nostalgia five point five out of ten. So uh, if you do decide to watch, let me know what you think. As I said, it's 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 more a drama. Again, a, a very much a stage feel as well. A very a character study, and you know, it would be a very very good stage play if you go to the theatre and watch it. I'd probably enjoy it more at the theatre than perhaps a, a movie on the big screen or even on your on your 50 inch or 40 inch uh, smart TV at home. The poster, well, I mean, you've got if you like Aaron Paul, the poster's fine, but it's, it's, it's not great, is it? I mean, again, it looks dangerous, doesn't it? It looks exciting, the poster with the with the uh, with the gun there, but uh, again, it's a bit of misrepresentation of the film, unfortunately. So if you like Aaron Paul, it's probably okay, but I'm only going to do the poster 5 out of 10, I'm not overly impressed with the poster, so I'll give the poster 5 out of 10. This film, if you want to watch it, if you want to buy it, it is out to buy, um, I've seen it as cheap as £7 in here in the UK on, on DVD, I think it came out this week, uh, it's recommended resale price is 7 99 so as cheap as chips anyway, so if you want to take a chance, uh, watch it and then sell it on again, I'm sure someone will buy it, because uh, for, even if only for Aaron Paul, who's quite obviously very popular, isn't he, from Breaking Bad, who uh, 
totally not a totally different role for him, but uh, you say he's not 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 the most um, challenging of roles. I don't think for Aaron Paul this one. Anyway, thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed that. Please check my little links on screen. If you can get onto my little website, moviegamenostalgia.com, for old and rare DVDs, movie posters from the 90s and 2000s, and some board games on there as well. That would be absolutely fantastic. I'll give you a, a virtual a virtual thumbs up for doing that for me. That would be absolutely fantastic. So hopefully you'll join me again very soon for another movie review or a TV drama review or, a, or an information vlog on cinema releases. Fingers crossed. Very soon. And obviously, um, what else have we got? DVD releases, of course, Blu-ray releases. So uh, just push that notification button if you want to get the latest uh, vlog. That would be fantastic. Anyway, thanks for watching. All we're going to do the rest of the day. Have a great one. Look after yourselves. Look after your friends. Look after your family. And more importantly, let's all look after each other. Until we meet again, please, please stay safe, everyone. Bernard saying goodbye for now. Bye-bye.